Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Zach and welcome to the ZVP Show. If you're at all interested in personal finance, how to build wealth through real estate, or how to be successful at your nine to five job, you're at the right spot. In my last video, I talked about the importance of your debt to income ratio. So in this video, I'll talk about more what goes into it and how $1 debt can cost you $28 in annual income. So for your debt to income ratio, there's two factors, front end and back end. The front end ratio is calculated by taking an individual's anticipated monthly mortgage payment and dividing it by the individual's gross monthly income. This shouldn't exceed 30%. And the next part is the back end ratio, which takes into account the anticipated mortgage payment plus all other debt obligations, such as student loans, credit cards, car loans, and any other form of financing, and dividing it by the individual's gross monthly income. For back end debt to income ratio, this shouldn't exceed 43%. All this matters when you're trying to go and qualify for a home loan and debt to income ratio is a big portion of it. You should always know what your debt to income ratio is. So let's look at a scenario with a couple of different debts and how much you would need to earn to qualify for those debts. The average house payment for someone in America is $1,029 per month. To qualify for that debt, they would need to make $2,393 per month. I get that by taking $1,029 and dividing it by 43%, which is the max backside debt to income ratio. And that gives me $2,393 per month. So per year, they would have to make $28,716. The average payment for a new car in America is $550 per month. So that means they'd have to earn $1,279 per month to qualify for that car payment, which means they'd have to earn $15,349 per year. So if you start adding up all your different debt payments per month and performing the same calculations, you can see how much you need to earn to take on additional forms of financing. So if you look at it, to qualify for $1 of debt, you'll need to produce nearly $28 of income per year. Here's how I got that calculation. Take that $1 and divide it by 43%. That equals $2.33. Then multiply it by 12 for how many months there are in a year, which equals $27.91, which is nearly $28 for just $1 of debt. So if you plan to try to qualify for a home loan in the near future, I highly suggest getting to understand your debt to income ratio. Thanks again for watching this video. Hopefully you found it informational. And if you did, be sure to hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm and hit subscribe to the channel. I release content every Tuesday and Saturday.